Send revival in this place. Send revival. Pour out your spirit. Take my face and worship me, my children. Seek my face and find me. Seek my face and I will show you who I am to you. Seek me and I will reveal myself to you. For whoever seeks, finds Whoever longs and craves shall receive, says the Lord. Who hunger and thirst shall be filled. Whoever wants more shall have more. Whoever shall desire me shall have me, says your God. You shall have me, says the Lord. For I am a God who is near, a God who wants to be near my children, a God who is always close to those who call on my name. I am here, my children. Seek me always, and you will find me. You will experience me. You will know me. You will understand me. You will settle in my presence, says the Lord. You will settle, settle in that place where I want you to be, says your God. If you will only but run to me and seek me, then you will, you will discover a lot about me, says your God. You will discover a lot about me. Seek me, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Hashikarabayasi. Oh, Sakarabayashi Karabayasa. Let our hearts just reach out to Him right now. Oh, Rabayashi. out to God. Let your heart reach out to Him. Those who are here and those who are watching online, you're not just watching, you are participating in whatever God is doing here. Oh, Rabbi Yashiva, seek God from your heart. Come on, feel God. Let your hearts reach out to Him.
say to your to our hearts oh God seek your face our hearts Lord will seek you we will seek your face oh God verse 4 look to the Lord in his strength seek his face always quoted from 1st Chronicles 16 11 Psalm 27 verse 8 I have preached from this verse in the past my heart says of you seek his face your face, Lord, I will seek. There's another way to look at this verse from Hebrew because it's speaking something else more than just my heart says of you, seek his face. The other way to translate this is you said to my heart, seek his face your face lord i will seek that's another way to translate this verse you said to my heart seek his face your face lord i will seek there are times god initiates the seeking the seeking of his face now we know that our hearts also will speak to us and tell us to seek the face of God whenever that happens we must respond and seek the face of God but there are there are also cases wherein God will speak to us will speak to our hearts and will say seek his face and so what do we do but respond in your face, Lord, I will seek. Tonight, God is challenging us to seek his face, searching his face, wanting for more of him in our lives, desiring for his presence more than anything else. That is our God. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Say, Lord, I seek you. I want more of you. I desire you more than anything. More than anything, Lord God, we desire you. We seek you. seek your face we just want to run to you Lord search you out wanting for more shikara vayashi asa ora vayashi sakani asa ora vayashi asa Oh, Rabbi 
satisfied Lord everything Lord we commit to you Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, seeking God takes a lot of time it's a moment that we just kind of take up our watches and say Lord I will not mind my time but I just want to search you just want to look after you or to run after you that's what seeking God is your heart running after God, your heart pursuing God, your heart crying out for God. And you know, whenever um, God does this, He will respond respond to the cry of our hearts to the longing of our souls to the longing of our beings our father is a wonderful powerful awesome God hallelujah how many of you love God how many of you want for more of God in your life 
praise the Lord. Just be seated for a while. Allow me to be able to share what I've been trying to share for, I don't know, three weeks now. Last week I was able to uh, preach only the first two points. I've been talking to you or been wanting to talk to you about how revive, revival is a personal pursuit. Ang revival usaka personal nga paggukod. As I have said, the presence of God is always awesome and something that we must always seek to experience. As I have said, this is the heartbeat of God for His people to seek Him. We have just heard the prophetic voice of God and God wanting us to really seek Him. And this is the design of God for all of His people as we know in the book of Genesis when God would come down to Adam and Eve at a particular time, at a particular moment. And so, in view of this, I've shared to you two points about how revival is a personal pursuit. Look at somebody and say, it's a personal pursuit. Right? And two things I've shared to you, firstly, is how revival is a personal pursuit because our God is what? Look at your notes. If you took notes last week, because God is a what? A personal God. Revival is always on the individual level. Although we can seek God collectively, but still, to look into it really, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Among the many that will seek God, it's still one-on-one, -on -one, right? And if everybody, everyone is seeking God's face, then we will have what? A collective experience of God. Right? Right? In Psalm 63, we know this verse. David cries out to God, Oh God, you are my God. It's a personal cry. So we relate with God one on one. Can you say one on one? Thank God that there is revival again on the Friday nights and getting stronger, the presence of God is getting stronger in our church. And I believe in the weekend, we will experience the presence of God so strongly again. We want to build up the presence of the Lord. Karun, we're done with Father's Day. We're done with Thanksgiving. What comes next? Wala. It's still around September when we will be celebrating what? Rosh Hashanah or the Feast of Trumpets, so we can build on uh, with this pursuit. So it's, a, it's on the personal level, say one-on-one. -on -one. And that is very, very important. Why? Because God is a personal God. He wants to relate with us one-on-one. -on -one. Though God can move and fill us all together with the presence of God, but still, God can relate with, say, Brother Joseph as he is moving, and he is relating with Brother Carlo over there, right? Right? Same time, touching people. Sabay sabay. But it's not just a general moving, it's a one on one moving because our God is what? Omnipresent, remember that? He is with us, every one of us, at the same time. But we can relate to the heart of God one-on-one. -on -one. And God loves it. Look at somebody and say, God loves it. Amen? And secondly, the, la the second thing I shared to you last week is how revival is a personal pursuit. Why? Because establishing a relationship with the God of heaven is a personal matter. 
and my focus is establishing a relationship. I talk to you about how we must what? Have God first in our lives. We must know that God must be God alone. Say, God alone. God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. The Lord is what? The Lord is one. The Lord is Echad, right? And Echad doesn't mean one being, but it means the first, the only one. Say, the only one. Or God alone. He is to be number one in our lives. Now, the Jews do not believe in the Trinity. Worshipping the Trinity to them is what? Worshipping multiple gods. But God is one revealed in three. Say, uni plurality. As a husband and a wife, when they cleave together, they become echad, they become one. And what I share to you is that God should always be prime in our lives. Siya lamang, wala na ilain pa, siya lang ang pinakauna sa atong kinabuhi. Amen? Kung siya ang pinakauna, but pa sa but, personal na ginuo siya. The Lord our God, the Lord alone. Deuteronomy 6, 4, NLT says, Listen, O Israel, the Lord is our God, or Yehovah is our God, the Lord alone. Yehovah alone. Living Bible, O Israel, listen, Jehovah is our God, Jehovah alone. Right? NLT uh, revealed the name of God in English form. Jehovah alone, Jehovah alone. Wala na ilain pa. Jehovah echad, he is one. So we are to relate with God alone. Only he in a very close, intimate relationship. Say alone. Louder, please. Alone. God is a spirit. And what I share to you is also we are spirits. And we can be spirit to spirit with God. When we have an intimate relationship with God, we become one with God, we become a chad with God. The more you relate with Him, there comes a unity between you and God or the Holy Spirit's presence in your life. Look at somebody and say, cleave to God. Spirit to spirit. That is an important point. That's the second thing I shared to you last week. Because God moved in a different way last week. And so, I believe God is allowing me to uh, go through this. I don't know where or if God will want me to finish them all. Because I said I got four things to share to you. But... I added another one. So I got three things still to share to everybody. So nahimo na siyang lima. So here it is. Revival is a personal pursuit. Why? Because God will reward and judge us individually. I can relate revival with how we will be rewarded or be judged by God. In line with this thought, one thing that we are to know, isa kabutang nga angay na itong masayran, ang Diyos wala maghatag o what? Corporate nga ganti or uh, or corporate uh, reward for the things that we do for Him. Well, like, corporate reward na makita natin sa Biblia. God rewarding a group of people. God rewarding a church all at the same time as one. You don't find that in the Bible. Even in the book of Revelation, when God, uh, when Jesus is talking to every local church, it's more of a personal uh, talking. Individual, Right? Now, our God, ang atong Diyos, muganti o muhukom 
sa matag kalag sumala sa iyang nabuhat. God rewards and judges every soul according to what He has done. Say, it is all individually. Sultihan so, nato individually. Makita nato ni sa Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20. God says, the soul who sins is the one who will die. Singular. The soul who sins is the one who will die. And then, let's jump to this point. Dito sa verse. The righteousness of the righteous man will be credited to him, and the wickedness of the wicked will be charged against him. I want you to notice the individuality of the soul here. A soul who sins, he will die. Is that personal? Yes, no. Is that individual? And the righteous man, with his righteousness, it will be what? Credited to him. Again, individual. Right. And we know the truth that people go to heaven as individuals, not as a group. Hello? Hindi pwedeng lahat tayo mamatay, sabay-sabay tayo akit sa langit. Even if that happens, it's still individual. Right? We will still be judged individually. When you go to heaven, you will not find your friends with you. You will only find yourself being welcomed by God. Well, I group welcome sa langit. Usarang, individually, isa lang, isa isa. You know, even if a group of Christians die out of a, an airplane crash, everyone will go to heaven individually and they will be rewarded individually. They will be welcome in heaven individually. And in the same way, we know people go to hell as individuals, not as a group. Hello. Hello. Will I group punishment? Psh. All of you together, magkahawak pa ng kamay, barkadahan, you go to hell. Will I barkadahan na? Pag kita namatay, wala, wala barkada, wala dabar cards. Kundili, one on one. Are you here? So, for this reason, tanawang logic, for this reason, we are. To what? Pursue God individually while we are here on earth because our rewarding or judgment after this life is also individually. Are you here? Are you here? So, as a person, whatever you have received from God, in a revival is something that stays on with you. Right. And you will, your reward will be based on how you take good care of what you have received from God. True or not? So, each person, each one of us, we have a responsibility. Do not have a responsibility. Matag usa sa pagpangita sa atong Diyos in our own lives. It's always a personal nga level. Are you, are you with me? How many of you were born from your mother's womb sabay-sabay? Kahit kambal. Ang kambal ba sabay pinanganap? Dili, di ba? Even though you're quintuplet, lima mo sa tiyan sa imong inahan. Sabay-sabay mo mo gawas? Dili. One by one. Right? Kambal kayo, quintuplets. But you are born still one-on-one. -on -one. Right? My time pa nga, that will be recorded. This one gets born at this time. The second one gets uh, born out of this time. Individually. And that's the way we go to heaven individually. 
So we are to what? We are to seek God individually. Though you have a family, though you have a friend, kahit may barkada ka, you will still be judged individually, not as a group. Even though you all are serving God actively, when you die, you will, what? Be judged, as I've said, individually. So therefore, it comes to the point that we have to seek God. It's our responsibility to seek Him. It's a personal level. You grow in God individually. Right? Iba-ibang level ang atong growth. As your pastor, yeah, I preach the same message to all our congregations pag about sa weekends because I want everybody to grow. Though we grow together, but individually, still, nahilay ang atong pagtubo sa atong ginoo. Depends on the heart if you're hungry. If you want more, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. Depende kung kung saan ka dako ang iyong bakba. Hello? If you got a big mouth, you will have more. Right? You got a big mouth in your heart for God, that's how you will be satisfied. Kung gamay lang, mawala. That's why, how or what you will receive. So we are to grow in our relationship with God individually. Even though your husband and wife, still, your growth is different. And also we are refreshed and we are revived on a personal level. Is that true? Now, this is how great revivals actually started in the past. Let me just give you a little brief history of a very important uh, revival, and that is the revival of the born-again message. This is how great revivalists actually started in the past, like how the born-again message came back. Now, wala man na mensahe sa born-again. Kay ang church, the church went through what we know as the Dark Ages, Naging ritual lang. People are not getting born again, joining the church. It happened at the time of Constantine when he just opened, uh, accepted Christianity as the religion of Rome. So everybody without conversion can come and become a Christian. So katong mga pagans, without undergoing uh, sal salvation, or being born again, they joined the church. Even eventually, katung mga pare, they had no experience sa born again. They just have religion. That's the time the church went through the dark ages, say dark ages. But there was one monk that God dealt with. He was so tired with what he had been seeing, so dissatisfied with religion and how people are suffering and how people are being deceived to pay what? Indulgences to go to heaven. Katong naasa sa purgatorio, ang gusto niyo makalingkawas ang imong pariente dito sa sa uh, purgatorio ah, mag palit ka og indulgence okay the more indulgence that you have for a particular relative the more that person goes down to heaven he got tired of that I, he knew that this was all a lie he was a Franciscan monk and he turned to the scriptures he could not turn he went to Rome wanting to be revived, wanting to be near God, but he saw how things are different. He saw the evil of the church, so went to the scriptures, sought God, 
and encountered true salvation. This guy was a German. He went out and preached the gospel after that and preached again the born-again message. And this person, you know this person? His name is Martin Luther. You know this guy? Dissatisfied with everything. It began personally. He came to a point and he said, uh, sola scriptura, uh, only the scriptures. Uh, there's another one I forgot. Uh, he shared it to others. He experienced God. He got born again. And his wife also got born again, who was, used to be a nun, Madre. So, she, pare, got born again. And they go, went out, shared the gospel to many people. And this became known in church history as the Reformation of 1516. Say the Reformation. Pagbabago. Okay? Because of him, <clears throat> we have the born again message returned to us again. Hello? One person who sought God on a personal level, found God, preached the gospel again. And everyone is getting saved. And it happened in Germany. Are you here? And it went to all of Europe, and then went to the Americas, and then went to Asia. We thank God for everything. Sabi natin, God is alive. He creates dissatisfaction in our own personal lives. So that we can crave for him. We can long for him. Are you here? As I shared to you, I was dissatisfied when I was 17 years old, very much active in my former religion. So active, de candado, de sarado, whatever. But I got dissatisfied, cried out to God, God, ganito lang ba maging kristyano? And the Lord, after one year, saved me. Hello? Now, my question, who will be the next Martin Luther in our generation, so to speak? Who is desperate for God in his own personal life? Dissatisfied with his religion, with his routines? Who will seek God more? And then once he encounters him, he tells the world about it. Hello? Because whatever you have found in God, if that is a real revival, a real touch of God, a real encounter with God, you will not keep quiet about it. Hello? Hindi mo susuluhin yung experience, but you got to tell the world about it. Are you here? Believers who are encountering the presence of God must go out and tell the world about the love of God for them. Are you here? You will hear me say this in a couple of, in, uh, beginning now in a um, couple of probably weeks. It cannot be revival when there are no people who come to the Lord through you. Hello. Cannot be revival if people do not find the Lord through you. You cannot say, I got revived. Revived with what? Nag emotional ka lang, natouch ka lang ni Lord. But is it really revival? If that is a real encounter with God and you have found God, you will tell the world about it. And everybody said, and everybody said, Rodney Howard Brown in the 1990s, uh, revival, great revival, Patitayo, we have been touched by that revival. 
that's a reason why some of you, when you touch, you laugh. Because it's a revival with the joy of God. And he was so desperate. He was, uh, he, 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 he was raised up as a believer, a young boy who got trained in the ways of God. And while he was already preaching as an evangelist, he cried out to God for more. He was so desperate with God. He cried out to God, say, God, if you will not come down, if you will not, uh, will not have an encounter with you, it's either I go to heaven or you come down. That means it's either I die and touch you in heaven or you come down and touch me. Then he got filled with the Spirit of God. And revival happened. Okay? Pastor Eric, or oh, Brother Eric, would talk about the Brunsfield revival. That's because of a Rodney Howard Brown. Somebody got touched in that revival. And people started to seek God on their own. And their church got a revival. That's known as the Brunsville revival, too. Hello? A very well known revival. Because somebody was desperate for God on the individual level. Look at your neighbor and say, how desperate are you for God? Mahina, no? Malay power. Once again, look at five people and say, how desperate are you for God? Desperado, desperado ba ta sa atong ginoo or satisfied na ta sa atong reliyon? Dili mahimo. Okay? Cannot happen. You cannot seek religion and find... <laughs> if you seek religion, rather, you, can, you will only find religion. But you will not find God. You may seek religion and not find God. Now you hear, whatever you look for... On this earth, you will find. Hello? Some people will look for happiness. It's the San Miguel. So they will go and drink. Some people will find, uh, will seek joy somewhere in a club or a resto bar or whatever, and I disco. So you will find them always there. Hello? Whatever you desire, you will follow after it. How many of you desire for more of God in your life? If you desire God, you'll find Him on the individual level. That's why at the time of rewarding, you will be rewarded based on what you have achieved or how you used what God has given to you. Are you here? Wag natin sayangin. Kung sa manadawat nato sa ating sa atong ginoo, don't throw away. Wag nato ilabay or uh, ignore lang nato. We, we need to say, God, let me have more. Let me want for more of you. And everybody said, and everybody said, Ayo ka mohawa sa presensya sa atong ginoo. What should happen is, manghawa ka ng presensya ng Diyos. O Tagalog, Bisaya. When somebody say, manghawa ka. Ayo paghawa, kundi ni manghawa ka. Amen. Amen. So that, that person will find God's reward too. You will be rewarded for your righteousness. And people in the world, sinners, they will be judged by their wickedness. Hello. How many of you like to re be rewarded by God greatly? Use what you have. Use what you have received from the Lord. Magpagamit tayong lahat. And everybody said? And everybody said? Those of you are watching, say, 
I will avail myself of God. I-type na to, I will avail myself of God. I'm useful, God. Use me for your glory. Use me for your honor. And everybody said? Because in heaven, we will be judged, or rather, I will say, it's our works that will be judged. Wala na condemnation, wala na judgment, whether we will go to heaven or not. Anak sa langit. Hello? So you're already rewarded there by being there. Pero your works, what you do here on earth, will be judged by God. Ang reward ni mo, base sa imong gihimo diri sa yuta. Not in line with you do in the world. In line with what you do for God. Do na kay business. Gipagamit ba ni mo ang imong business sa pag-spread sa Ebanghelyo o dili? Para ilang, ikaw lang masatisfy na ikaw mulambo or magprosper. prosper Niya, wala ni mo pig, uh, gipagamit ng imong business sa ginoo. Whatever you are, whatever you, you are in, kung saan ang imong posisyon, magpagamit. Look at somebody and say, magpagamit sa ginoo. Amen. Amen. The millions that God will bless you with. Amen. Kisa nagtuuhan na. The millions that God will bless you with. Dapat ipagamit ni mo sa pagpakalat sa Ebanghelyo. Ang tanan mo, prosper, exultig, amen. Ay hinay. One more time. If that is your vow to God, God will bless you. Your reward will be based on how you avail yourself for God. Nagpagamit ka sa Lord, even though those are watching. God, yung akong pagluluto, pagamit ako sa iyo. And everybody said, Amen? I don't know if you're watching, pero I'm not promoting, uh, but even sa cooking, yung akong vlog, I put the a message at the end, right? Right? Because I'm, I'm a shep herd. shepherd. So you cook for the body and feed people sa ilang kalag. Hello? Are you here? You, 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 you deliver the word, you share the word so that people who are watching may also be enlightened. Actually, though I'm not speaking, I'm preaching there, sharing the word of God, even through a blog like this. I'm not after yung magparami ng tao do. Yeah, you wait for that time. But you just want to share. You just want to have an opportunity to share the gospel. And w that's how I, I began. Uh, because how do I do it in the way that, you know, can be accepted? preach, 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 preach. You do it in that way so that people can find the Lord, can, can find salvation. Allah. Number three pa lang ako. Iganahan ako sa aning punto. So look at somebody and say, seek for your reward. But everything is based on how you pursue God right now. Are you here? Everything about your reward is based with how you pursue God in your own personal life, in your own individual life. Look at somebody and say, seek God. Say, say it again, seek God. Type it, everyone watching, and say, seek God.
Seek the Lord. Seek God. So, who will be the next Martin Luther, Charles Finney? Who will be uh, the next Rodney Howard Brown? A great man of God? Yung mga desperado. See, Charles Finney is another great story, great revivalist in the 1700s. He was a lawyer, smart guy, very, very smart guy. But when he found the Lord, God used his wisdom. And he was able to what? To preach well, develop theology that we are still using right now. Study his life. Study the lives of the revivalists. And you will catch on with their lives if you study them, how they pursue God, how they have longed for God. Study of a, the life of a man named Smith Wig Wigglesworth. Study the life of a man named John G. Lake, who was greatly used by God in the miraculous during the 40s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. They are all desperate for God. And God will reward you even right now. There is a reward for everybody who goes out and preach the gospel. You will be blessed. Jesus said, those of you who have left your mothers, your fathers, your children, your wealth, you will be rewarded. Yeah. You will see mothers, fathers, uh, children, and wealth. You have left them, God says, I will bless you with them. So whatever you have given to God, there is a return. There is a reward. And the reward is still individually. Are you here? Are you here? So seek God. I think I will end here. Baba na ito. I got about already been preaching for 40 minutes now. But let God be the one to use you. Let's pursue him. Let's love him. And everybody said, Amen. let's all stand up, give the Lord a clap offering. <laughs> Thank you, God. Come on, give God a clap offering. Oh, the glory of his presence. Let's sing that. Oh, the glory of his presence. We, your temple, are giving you reverence. Lift up your hands first. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you for this wonderful evening. Thank you for allowing me, Lord God, to speak this word. You have a purpose. Why I'm not able to uh, preach them all. You're dropping thoughts into my heart as I was preaching. In fact, I know that this is your message for us tonight to run after the reward. It's nothing there's nothing wrong about running after the reward. We want to be rewarded individually. But all, Lord God, connected to how we pursue you, to how we desire for more of you, of how we seek you. Father, let everyone be hungry for you. Let everyone here be thirsty for you. Let every one of us cry out for revival again, for a great display of your presence in our lives and in our church. Have your way, God. Let every one of us be changed, be transformed. Make our hearts desperate for you, desperate for revival, desperate for your presence like never before. Just want to thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, 
for your love in every way. Oh, thank you, Lord. We commit all the glory. We commit all the honor unto your name. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's sing all the glory.
Father, for your love and your goodness, just want to thank you for your presence in this place. We want to thank you, Lord, for your moving. We want to thank you for your prophetic word. We want to thank you, Lord, for the preaching of your word. All this because you are good. All this because you love us. All this because you care for us, oh God. And as a church, we long for your presence. This group of people, Father God, that comes here every Friday, we desire that you will come down so strongly on us not just on the Friday night, but on Saturday and all Sunday services, even in our small groups, Lord God, every fellowship, every ministry, every care group meeting, I pray that you will visit us with your presence. I pray that every care group leader will be desirous of your presence to bring down your presence every ministry head or leader i pray that they will desire for more of you not just to go through the motions of the activities we want you lord god more than anything in this life have your way lord let us seek you let us desire for more of you god I just want to give praise to you, Lord. I just want to give all the glory, all the honor in the mighty name of our Messiah, name of Jesus, your Son, and our Lord, and our Redeemer. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. In Jesus' name. Give God a mighty shout. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And everybody said, Is God alive? Amen. God is alive. God is real. Hallelujah. It's wonderful to see your faces. Wonderful to see the sister Joan over there from Visita. She stays in Tagum. Nice to see you here. Praise God. And uh, nice to see everybody coming to the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Is God good? He is always awesome in every way. Praise God. Hallelujah. Karam, i-andam na nato ang mga 
uh, boxes sa atong main offering box and atong mga sidaka coins praise God be faithful with your tithes and your offerings and support sa project Joshua kanunay natin pag pray ha, ang atong uh, uh, property sa ma pray nato na ma umana ang mga papeles so we can do what is appropriate there but remember we are constructing uh, in septic tank for the whole building that will be built praise God so anytime you can come down bring your Tides offerings, gifts to Project Joshua and your Tzedakah coins. Let's all stand up. After this, natay merienda sa likod. Sa atong merienda karon. Lugaw man ang atong merienda karon gabi. Praise the Lord. Stretch out your hands, please. Let's all pray. Father God, just want to thank you for everything that you have done, oh God. Truly, you are wonderful. Thank you, God, for always the privilege of uh, giving you back our tithes and sowing our offerings unto you, Lord. We pray, God, you bless the work of our hands. And we pray, Lord, that prosperity will come unto your children as they are faithful to give all this to you. And also for Project Joshua, I pray that uh, you will move, Lord God, so that all the needed papers will be worked out and be finished. No more prolonging of everything, O oh God. We pray that all the persons uh, concerned, even the former owner of the lot, will do his responsibility to get all, everything done in the name of Jesus. Thank you for our Zedaka coins that uh, by December we will use to feed people who are hungry and be a blessing during Christmas time. We thank you and uh, may you bless everybody and uh, be with everyone even as we part ways those who are here and those watching online. May you watch over them, protect them tonight from all harm and danger and bring us all together either tomorrow or Sunday to worship you once again. And may you come down mightily on us. May you come down powerfully in the name of Jesus Christ. And may Yehovah bless you and keep you. May Yehovah make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May Yehovah, may Yehovah lift up his countenance upon you. Grant you his peace, his shalom, both now and forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord God, for our merienda that is being prepared right now. May you be the one to bless the one who prepared this. And thank you, God, that we have food to share and bless our fellowship. May all the glory belong to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. And thank you for those who have uh, watched online. Salamat for joining us this uh, very evening. 
Amen. May the Lord's blessings be upon you all. Shalom, shalom. I'll see you either tomorrow night or on Sunday. Hindi niyo makanehi. Stay put sa atong live stream. God bless.